Hey guys, it's the Review Brothers again. We're out here in the Canadian winter. It's finally started snowing here in Toronto. And I'm here with the elder opinionator, Mohit Kishore. This is the younger opinionator, Sir Bob. What are we talking about today, Sir Bob? Oh, uh, well, today we'll be talking about our experience at Red Lobster in downtown Toronto. Well, you forgot to mention we went in as vegetarians, so yeah. that makes this experience a unique one. Well, it was a beautiful experience as a whole, but it did start off with a little heartbreaking experience you know when we walked in being animal lovers and believers that fish are friends not food or you know animals are friends not food we saw lobsters tied down there and that that upset us and i, I went like oh and he was like crying a little and uh yep we had a beautiful waitress we got a table to sit on it was wonderful the rest of the journey just took off from there it was just heartbreaking to watch all those lobsters sitting in the aquarium with their claws tied up just sitting there and knowing that they will be dead so getting back to the topic we got cheese sticks as appetizers coke and this tea and uh, the well, cheese sticks were a handful uh, it's it was not like any other cheese sticks where it's it's half filled it's uh, half empty but these ones were completely filled with cheese I believe some of the mozzarella cheese um, and the dip they, comes with the dip and then the serving size was really good as well. Yeah. Um, they gave us eight pieces. Yeah, unlike other restaurants that gives yeah. you five or six. There were eight pieces here, but it's two for each people. Mm -hmm. We were joined by two other meat eaters, so. Yeah, that worked out well for us. Yeah. And uh, when the waitress came by, she asked us, what do you guys want? We chose uh, pasta. Well, we asked her what we can eat since we were vegetarians. We asked her, Is, are there any vegetarian options? and she recommended us pasta. Yeah. So as soon as we heard pasta, well, we knew what we were gonna get. But we did ask her what else is there. She said, just pasta. But I'm not complaining, we love pasta, don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah, we were fine with that. But Pasta's you know, amazing. Just pasta, nothing else for vegetarian. So that's kind of a turn off for a vegetarian to get into Red Lobster because not everyone can eat pasta. But moving on from there, the best part of the restaurant was the free complimentary biscuit. Oh guys, I don't think you heard me. Free. Complimentary biscuits. Yeah, free biscuits was good. Good? Really good. Really good, yeah. I would probably go back there just to eat those biscuits again. What about you, Sir Bob? What do you think? If I had a chance, I would live there. I would be friends with a chef who makes that, you know, live off of him for my whole life. Just eating those biscuits. I would rate those biscuits 11 out of 10, that's how good they were. <laughs> yeah. The pasta was good, you know, it was good pasta, soft and well made. It was too much pasta for a sauce or too little sauce for the pasta, if you know what I mean. Uh, and the, the, the sauce itself, it didn't have too much taste. I guess that goes by personal preference. Uh, what do you think, Mohit? I felt it was more like eating plain noodles, like our plain pasta without adding any sauce to it but you still get to bite on extra things like mushrooms or tomatoes so there was no taste in it essentially but hey guys we can't complain we're going into a seafood restaurant as vegetarians like come said, on yeah think about it just think about it well we didn't think about it before going in there did we <laughs> <laughs> anyhow would you go back in there sort of by choice no but if someone has invited me over for a party or they're throwing a party there, yes, I would definitely visit. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. How about you? Well, I would go back there just for the biscuits and come back, you know, <laughs> you guys should do that too. Their biscuits are just so good and they're so filling and then the best part is it's free. You're not getting it, it's free guys, it's free, so you should go back there for the biscuits. And like always, free food tastes better. Yeah, but well, the meat eaters said that, you know, people who ate lobsters and Shrimps? Is that what they ate? They ate a lot of shrimp and yeah. a lot of lobster. And uh, they loved it. They said the food was good. They would probably go back in there. Um, the one thing I loved there too was their mashed potatoes. You know, you can never go wrong with Mr. Potato. I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice already, but it's getting really cold in here. So we're gonna end it shortly. Hold on, give me a second, bro. Well, we we wanted to say one thing. We always remember, fish are friends, not food. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our opinion. And, don't forget, your opinion counts too. Mm -hmm. So leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to make requests if you, if you have any. And people from Toronto, don't forget, you have 
he has special privileges. He could tell us what restaurants to go to. Yeah. And what kind of food you want to know. If if it's a meaty restaurant, we probably get a couple of friends along with us. Don't don't worry about that. So, well, yeah, that would be it for me. What about you, Sir Rob? Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to one of my friends. He has a YouTube channel as well, and he is help. He's currently helping our channel grow. Uh, so all the subscribers. Uh, make sure you go and subscribe to uh, his channel. I'll leave the link down in link down in the description below, uh, and make sure you subscribe. And also, we, with that note, we'd like to add on that after 150 subscribers, we're gonna have a giveaway. Make sure you get your friends to subscribe to our channel as well. well thank you guys. Always, Always remember, remember your, your opinion, opinion counts. counts. See ya.